Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Havoc and today we're looking at the Mongoose T50CM3, a premium throttle made by Verpal Controls, a company based in Belarus and established in 2016 by Andrei Lukanov. In recent years, they have progressively been adding more to their arsenal, some of which resembled Western aircraft due to the increase in popularity in the US. Having previously watched other videos of their earlier products, I was rather timid about purchasing their products a few years ago. But after researching more on the company and the products they offer, I became very interested in purchasing the CM3. First impressions of this throttle are how beautiful the design is with its chamfered edges along the top of the panel. The sheer number of hats and buttons and the internal circuit board and wiring. It's clear that Verpal takes great pride in developing its products and does so with the approach that they too are going to use their products for their own personal flight sim experience. After replacing my old SciTech X65F, which was a very impressive HOTAS, purely due to its force sensing stick that provided unparalleled accuracy, the throttle quadrant left more to be desired. It lacked the number of buttons modern simulators seem to use nowadays. Having used the CM3 for the last two months now, I have found that the overall accuracy of the axes, as mentioned previously, was the single most impressive and welcome change over my previous HOTAS. Games like DCS and Star Citizen felt extremely smooth when increasing throttle and interacting with the flight systems. The best parts of this throttle are how precise the thumbstick is, especially when used as a TDC slew. All of the buttons are super clicky and feel great, and you know where your fingers are without the need to look. The sheer number of hats and buttons on this device are rather impressive, and as previously mentioned, it felt like the X65F throttle was lacking with the buttons it had. Meanwhile, Verpal has plenty of buttons for you to ensure you can configure everything you need. The detent system is a welcome addition that I honestly didn't know I wanted until I had it. And I found myself gravitating to the classic plus detent when it came down to flying flight simulators. My gripes with this throttle, however, are that for starters, the magnet that locks the throttle from the left and the right is a little lacking. It seems to slip out from time to time when in more aggressive situations, which is when you typically need the throttle to stay together. I noticed that I would have liked to have another analog rotary axis on the throttle or the base in order to adjust certain things like zoom, since I use the flap axis or the flaps in DCS. The axis in the middle of the throttle is too precise and maybe better being configured to an access to button or something like changing field of view for your targeting pod or wing sweep for your F-14. And that leads us to the biggest con of all, the software. Once I began to use the throttle and began thinking of how to properly lay out what buttons I wanted, I began to explore the software and quickly realized that it has an extremely steep learning curve that felt like you need to be a software engineer to fully understand how to change a lot of the functions. It got so bad that I found a large dent in my desk to progressively get worse. However, after lots of reading, lots of trial and error, and lots of hours wasted watching YouTube videos of other people that were dying more on the inside than I was trying to figure out this software, I finally got to a point where I began to understand how the software works. Because the primary plane that I fly is the DCS F-18C, the flaps switch isn't an axis, it's a button. So I had to go into the software and set the flaps axis as a three-way button, by setting the axes as buttons between the 0 to 20%, 40%, to 60%, and 80% to 100%. The real challenge, however, was setting up the two-way switches to operate both ways, so that, for example, if the switch is in the up position, it will master arm, and if the switch is in the down position, it will master safe. This basically required that I create a logical button for the up position, and then setting both buttons as toggle on in the mode. So now we get to the cost. At a rather steep price of 430 US dollars and an additional 50 US dollars shipped, it may be enough for you to reach for your life alert button if you're as old as I am and fear that you're having a heart attack with the heart palpitations that you might be feeling right about now. However, if you could afford to make the investment and do so with the understanding that this will perform all of your flights and needs for almost a decade, you might agree with me in saying that it is worth every penny and happily throw money at your screen. In conclusion, while the price of the CM3 may turn away even the moderately fickle of flight sim enthusiasts, the overall quality 
sheer number of buttons and everything that the CM3 offers, it is worth the price tag in my opinion. Sure, it has some flaws, but the features that it offers put it at the top of my list of recommended throttles. And after watching review videos of the Purple CM3 and the Windwing Super Taurus and Orion, I felt that the CM3 was the best overall throttle to go with because of the design and feel, and that it can easily translate from DCS to Star Citizen, the two main games that I play today. Personally, I look forward to seeing future products that Verbal designs and would love to continue reviewing their products. They are a solid company with great products and my short interaction with their customer service has made me enjoy my experience with their products so far, regardless of how painful their software was to deal with. If you're looking for flights and products to check out, look no further than Verbal. I think that their design and feel of all of the equipment that they offer is top notch and I would not hesitate to buy more of their products. Thank you for joining me in this review with the Verpal Mongoose TM50 CM3 throttle. My name is Havoc and I will see you in the next video. So now we get to the cost. At a rather <laughs> So now we get to the cost. At a rather steep price of 430 US dollars, an additional uh, that's how I feel right now. God look at I need to start drinking. Good God help me now, boy. In conclusion, while the price of the CM3 may turn away even the moderately fickle of flight some enthusiasts, this overall poopiness of this statement is ridiculous. <laughs>